you know how we tend to say things that i had my reasons for doing it or i know the reason behind the decision that i have taken etc so let's talk about reasoning today What's up you guys, this is Aditi, welcome back to our channel. I asked on Instagram what kind of videos you want to see on our channel. If you are not following me on Instagram, please go ahead because I do take your suggestions, um, recommendations, like of psych topics that I should make. So one of my internet friend actually suggested that I should make videos on TYBA semester 6 topic. This topic was very very difficult in cognitive psychology. The chapter is reasoning and that's what I thought I would make first. So let's begin. So when I gave an example of okay, these are my reasons for choosing to become an engineer or choosing an engineering degree, it you kind of understand what reasoning actually means. It is just a logical way of thinking and coming to a conclusion or forming a conclusion or a judgment. But a proper definition of reasoning is that it is a cognitive process where you derive new information from old information. So for example, if um, I say that I talk a lot about BTS and you infer or you come to a conclusion from this that oh she likes BTS or she is a fan of BTS. So when I said that I talk a lot about BTS there is no way um, I'm saying that I'm a fan or I like it right like you are deducing something new from the old information so that is what reasoning actually is. Now there are two types of reasoning deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning i'm not going in depth if you want me to make like in-depth videos let me know but today in this video we are just going to see what is deductive reasoning what is inductive reasoning and we'll stop there okay so let's start with deductive reasoning first okay so deductive reasoning um firstly there is a general statement that's done it's a general theory that is already there like a general rule and from this general rule you come to a conclusion which is very specific so you can remember deductive reasoning as from going from general to something specific secondly uh, whatever uh, statements or the word is premise uh, you have to assume that that premise or that statement is true so premise is basically a particular event or a situation that is assumed to be true so whatever that's given to you from which you actually infer or you come to a conclusion you assume that it's true and thirdly whatever premise that is given to you that is all the information you have you don't add more information to deductive reasoning okay jo bhi information diye that is all you have and from that information only you are coming to a conclusion then another thing about deductive reasoning is that if the premise and the general rule is true then the conclusion is also true so let's look at an example your friend has a runny nose so now this is a premise it's a statement that's given to you then we have a runny nose when we have cold now that's a general rule right like we all know this that if you have a runny nose you you tend to have cold when you have a runny nose right um, and the conclusion that you draw from this is that your friend has cold you get it so there is a premise that's given and you as you are assuming it's true that your friend has a runny nose you see that she has a runny nose you assume that she has a runny nose true second there is a general rule that jab sardi hoti hai kisi ko naag bhehti hai and from this you come to a specific conclusion it's a general thing that cold hai to naag bhehegi so from this general rule you come to a conclusion that oh your friend has cold if a particular thing is true or it can be applied to a certain class of things in general then it is assumed that it applies to all the members of the class so let's see one example chickens are birds all birds lay eggs so chickens are birds is the premise and we also know it's like a general thing also all birds lay eggs that is also a general thing therefore chicken lay eggs so that is the conclusion that you are coming from so because chicken is a part of a class of things right like it's a part of birds so if certain thing is applying to chickens it is assumed that it will apply to all the members of that class as well which is birds deductive reasoning can go wrong 
बिकॉज लेट्स से इफ द प्रेमिस दैट यू आर स्टार्टिंग विथ वही गलत है तो ऑब्वियसली कंक्लूजन भी गलत होगा लाइक आई सेड दैट द प्रेमिस एंड द जनरल रूल हैज टू बी ट्रू ओनली देन द कंक्लूजन विल बी ट्रू सो लेट्स सी वन एग्जाम्पल ऑल एनिमल्स दैट ले एग्स आर बर्ड्स स्नेक्स ले एग्स देर फोर स्नेक्स आर बर्ड्स अभी ऑब्वियसली नो दैट्स नॉट ट्रू राइट सो यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव टेकन वन थिंग दैट अप्लाइज टू a certain class and we have connected it to the other and feel like oh that that's the conclusion so because one thing is not true the premise is in true which is all animals that lay eggs are birds there could be other things fishes also lay eggs right so it's not just birds in a in a class of animals so because that premise is true sorry that premise is false the conclusion is also false i will do like a conclusion for at the end of the video because i know this topic is really confusing but we'll move on to the second type of reasoning which is inductive reasoning now inductive reasoning is the opposite like i said so it starts with something specific like a specific premise and from there they go to a conclusion that is very general so it can be generalized to a lot of things or to a bunch of people or a class and second is that you tend to add more information that is not given in the premise and due to this inductive reasoning can go wrong at times because you may add things that you assume to be true and then it doesn't actually apply to it can't be generalized basically so let's see an example you see a cat that is black you see a second class cat that is also black and then you see a third cat that is black and as a reason why you infer that all cats are black now you know that that is not true there can be different colored fur skin cats right so because you have deduced because you have observed something very specific so you generalize the whole thing that oh all cats are black now let's understand the difference between the two like distinguishing deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning the first thing is that in deductive reasoning you are going from something like a general rule that you have and from there you are deriving something specific a specific conclusion so you are going from general to specific but in inductive reasoning you are doing the opposite you are starting with something specific and then you are going and making a general conclusion um you can also call this like a bottom uh, up and top down approach so deductive reasoning is a top down approach um let me explain what top down and up bottom up is like so top down is basically you start so it, it you can use this in perception as well let's say that you are looking at an like a, looking looking at a fruit so if you look at the fruit and you say that oh this is an orange okay so it's starting from the bigger picture and then when you start going in to small small details that's a top down approach you look at something you perceive a thing and you say oh that's orange that is the big thing and then you go in detail like oh it's orange color it's round it has some textures and you know all of that so those become like small small details about it so like a top down approach so in deductive reasoning you tend to go from top down so you start from a general rule and you then you go to the specific conclusion whereas an in inductive reasoning is the opposite so you go from bottom up so if you want to look at it, look at it in perception way so if you look at a fruit we're going to assume it's orange only but we don't know it's orange you look at a fruit and you look at all the small small details of that fruit so you're looking at oh it's orange in color it is um, it's round it has some texture it, it that will be this outer layer outer skin of it and it's khadbadi the and all of that and then you will reach to a conclusion that it is orange the fruit orange so you are starting from specific things and then you are going to a general conclusion second thing or the third thing i forgot in the number but um, in deductive reasoning deduct the conclusions that you come in deductive reasoning will not be wrong if the premise is true agar premise sahi hai तो कंक्लूजन भी सही होगा बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एडिंग मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन टू इट जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया है इन द प्रेमिस यू आर लुकिंग एट इट एंड देन यू आर डिड्यूसिंग समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट बट इन इंडक्टिव रीजनिंग द कंक्लूजन कैन बी रॉन्ग बिकॉज यू आर ट्राइंग टू जनरलाइज इट टू अ लार्जर पब्लिक और वट एवर सो बिकॉज यू आर एडिंग मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन इट कैन गो रॉन्ग 
अभी भी कंफ्यूजन है आफ्टर सीइंग द डिफरेंस लेट्स लुक एट मोर एग्जांपल्स दैट आर वेरी सिमिलर एंड ऑफ बोथ द टाइप ऑफ रीजन लुक एट डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग फर्स्ट सो द प्रेमिस इज दैट आई एम लैक्टोस इंटॉलरेंट लैक्टोस इंटॉलरेंट पीपल गेट सिक व्हेन दे कंज्यूम डेयरी दिस मिल्क शेक कंटेन्स डेयरी देयरफॉर आई विल गेट सिक इफ आई ड्रिंक दिस मिल्क शेक सो डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग में गो फ्रॉम जनरल टू स्पेसिफिक सो द जनरल रूल क्या है दैट लैक्टोज इंटॉलरेंट पीपल इफ दे कंज्यूम डेयरी देन दे विल गेट सिक एंड द प्रेमिस दैट दे हैव गिवन इज दैट आई एम लैक्टोज इंटॉलरेंट एंड दिस मिल्क शेक कंटेन्स डेयरी सो फ्रॉम दिस यू विल कम टू अ स्पेसिफिक कंक्लूजन कि अगर मैंने ये मिल्क शेक पिया तो आई विल गेट सिक मेक सेंस ओके लेट्स गो टू इंडक्टिव रीजनिंग विद द सेम एग्जाम्पल आई एम लैक्टोज इंटॉलरेंट दिस मिल्क शेक कंटेन्स डेयरी I will get sick if I drink this milk shake. Therefore, lactose intolerant people get sick when they consume dairy. So the premise is that I am lactose intolerant. This milk shake contains dairy, and I will get sick if I drink this milk shake. So they are putting these two things together, and then your commenter continues that oh, so I am lactose intolerant. Many do it, yeah. So I will. I'm getting sick, right? So lactose intolerant people cannot drink dairy because they will get. Sick. So, from something specific that is happening to just you, you are going to generalize it and say, "Oh, this is what will happen to people in general who are lactose intolerant." Makes sense. Let's look at another example. We start with deductive reasoning again. My mother is Irish. Everyone from Ireland has blonde hair. Therefore, my mother has blonde hair. So, the premise is that my mother is Irish. General rule is that everyone from Ireland has blonde hair. so from this general rule you are deducing something specific that my mother also has blonde hair now if you look at the inductive reasoning for this my mother is irish she has blonde hair therefore everyone from ireland has blonde hair so you have taken something very specific that my mother being irish having blonde hair and then you have generalized it to everybody who lives in ireland or are irish ki acha they will also have blonde hair If you are studying clinical psychology or if you love abnormal psychology, we can also apply this to diagnosis as well. So deductive reasoning, sorry, it's not an inductive reasoning. That makes more sense. So in inductive reasoning, it is bottom up approach. So you look at the specifics, means like symptoms, and from those symptoms, you will come to a conclusion of a diagnosis. So if I say that. Um, i tend to have obsessive intrusive unwanted thoughts and that gives me a lot of anxiety and to get rid of these thoughts and the anxiety i tend i need to do a compulsive action okay so these are three four symptoms i've given you from these symptoms you can come to the conclusion that my diagnosis is ocd obsessive compulsive disorder correct now let's look at the deductive reasoning uh, i don't know how it exactly would work but अगर प्रैक्टिकली अगर देखे तो समटाइम्स अ क्लाइंट और अ पेशेंट कम्स टू यू एंड फ्रॉम दे आर डिमीनर दे आर बिहेवियर दे आर बॉडी नॉट इन बिहेवियर दे आर बॉडी लैंग्वेज दे वेर अ वॉकिंग अगर यू कैंड ऑफ हैव अ डायग्नोसिस इन योर हेड बिकॉज डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग इज टॉप डाउन यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम समथिंग जनरल यू गो टू स्पेसिफिक सो यू स्टार्ट विथ अ डायग्नोसिस इन योर हेड कि लाइक अच्छा इसको ओ सी डी हो सकता है एंड देन यू विल ऑब्जर्व दे आर सिम्टम्स दे आर बिहेवियर्स एंड यूल आज दम लाइक एम एस सी एंड केस हिस्ट्री लेंगे तब यू विल गेट ऑल द सिम्टम्स एंड बिहेवियर एंड लाइक आहा इट इज ओ सी डी सो काइंड ऑफ लाइक दैट लाइक डज दैट मेक सेंस लाइक डिडक्टिक में डजेंट रियली मेक मच सेंस बट इंडक्टिव इज परफेक्टली वॉट वी एक्चुअली डू वेन वी आर मेकिंग अ डायग्नोसिस एंड दैट इज टू डेज वीडियो आई विल जस्ट सम ऑफ द होल थिंग टू रीजन्स होते हैं डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग एंड इंडक्टिव रीजनिंग डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग गोज फ्रॉम समथिंग जनरल टू स्पेसिफिक टॉप डाउन एंड इंडक्टिव रीजनिंग गोज फ्रॉम स्पेसिफिक टू जनरल सो इट गोज फ्रॉम बॉटम अप डिडक्टिव रीजनिंग में यू डोंट एड मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन बट इंडक्टिव में यू एड मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड दैट्स हाउ यू कैन जनरलाइज इट विच मे नॉट बी एक्यूरेट बिकॉज यूर एडिंग मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट and in deductive reasoning if the premise is true then your conclusion will also be true but this may not be the case for inductive reasoning because you are adding more information so generalization may not always be accurate i hope you learned deductive and inductive reasoning it is very very difficult i tried to come up with my own examples and for that i had to understand this concept very well i literally struggled so much with this last year so yeah i hope you if this video has actually helped you let me know what other videos you want in the comment section and i'll see you next friday with another video on psychology bye